People who actually love their jobs, how and why? I left my career in the big hustle of the city, LA, and before that Toronto, and moved to a tiny town in the mountains where I took a job as a baker. It's like living in a Hallmark movie, there isn't a stoplight around for like 30 miles and everything is all alpine village Y and beep I make half the money I did at my old desk job but my expenses are half what they were, and I have zero stress, our customers are always happy because pie. I'm an art teacher, I shut my door, interpret the curriculum how I see fit, and have a blast making amazing projects with my kids. Since it's art, nobody really gives a crap about what I'm doing, as long as my kids are working. It gives me a lot of freedom to teach what I think is appropriate. I love working in manufacturing welding. There's a lot of satisfaction in creating something out of something else. I take pride that my work meets specs and the money is okay. It's not necessarily a rare skill set, but not everyone can do it. I've struggled with ad and depression, so being successful at my trade is very important to me. All of these commenters are telling you about jobs with great features, but I assure you that there are definitely people in the same position as them who didn't love the job. I know plenty of people who love art or music who got into full-time jobs in those fields and ended up hating it, as well as people who absolutely love working retail. So what's the secret then? You can't just find a job you love, you have to find what you love within your job. You could be playing video games 8 hours a day and it would feel like a chore after a while if you just focus on what you need to do to run out the clock. The kind of people who love their jobs actively try to make it an enjoyable experience by connecting with their coworkers or putting value into the things they do, and this applies across every single job you could have. Of course, it is much easier to do this if the job has more enjoyable aspects. Dot. Having terrible co-workers or not being engaged with the type of work you do will make it much harder to foster love for your work, so you will see a lot of the people in this thread focusing on how much freedom they get or how much the skills they use mesh with their own strengths. I can assure you though that no amount of vacation time or free snacks will make a job great if you deeply resent having to waste your time on it. No strict deadlines, great colleagues, reasonably well paid and hardly any stress. I'm a member of the International Union of Elevator Constructors. I install elevators for a living. The benefits and pay are incredible. The work is very satisfying and I actually enjoy coming into work every day. It can get stressful and some days are way harder than others but generally it's a pretty fun job building beep and using tools all day. Pediatric registered nurse. When I'm done my assessments, medication administration, and charting, I spend my downtime building Legos and playing video games with my patients. Pretty sweet gig. Dog walker here. I love being outside all day, little to no contact with humans, and spending every day with all kinds of fun and adorable dogs, there is virtually no downside. They are so happy to see me and even happier to walk. It's seriously criminal that I get paid to do this lol. I'm the guy who gets to wave glow sticks at the airport and help parallel park airplanes. The only downside is that I have to stay outside at all times. Worked retail for 10 years. Took a pay cut to go to a different, small grocery store. It's kind of like a David's if anyone knows that chain. Bit bigger, it's in a rich ass development. Old white folk, nice tips sometimes randomly just for pointing out the bananas or something, so I'm the only one in the produce department, aka I run this beep zero supervision. It's pretty nice. I can take breaks whenever I want free lunch from the deli, don't have to deal with customers aside from the occasional, where is X? Pretty sweet gig, but I've already gotten a raise to match my previous salary, and the usual promises of more. We'll see about that, but I'm happy for now, they're happy with me. All is well, and I'm not pissed off all day anymore. Only complaint would be that because the way the trucks are scheduled I don't get two days in a row off anymore. But oh well, I can deal. I used to have a job I loved. I was a team leader in a R&D team software systems design. Great team of people working for me. Great management above me. Management who actually cared but recognized that I knew more about the subject matter than they did most of the time with mutual respect. As the team leader and technical lead I had complete control over the direction of my team. Our product, that is extremely niche so I don't want to give further details is something that was making the world a better place. Had lots of really cool kit to play with. 
had the option to travel internationally to relevant conferences all expenses paid. Reasonable pay, not the highest but enough to pay for the mortgage and have enough left over for some luxuries like foreign holidays when the world isn't on fire. Alas I had to leave my job for medical reasons, but at least I had an awesome pension. I'm a science teacher. I love working with kids. I love that I don't have administrative responsibilities. All I have to do is make lesson plans and teach those plans and I can refine them through the day as needed. If a lesson goes great, I can save it for the next year and there is no shortage of good ideas online. It is infinitely more rewarding helping kids understand difficult concepts and seeing those aha moments much better than my previous soul-crushing desk job. Also, every now and then I get to blow beep up with a bunch of kids. You do realize 90% of the people on here use Reddit because they're at work RN and hate their job. My boss just told me I could bring my book back with me after lunch and read if I wanted. He said he knows I'll get all of my stuff done and he doesn't mind. I love my job so much. I'm a truck driver. I get paid 100k a year to travel and see the country. Granted I can only see it from the interstate. Still better than nothing. I work at a cannabis dispensary. Medical, it's my dream job. People do not generally come into my work in a bad mood. I enjoy helping people, love cannabis, win-win. I am a software developer and it gives me a lot of intellectual satisfaction, if that is a thing, and you can reflect and improve yourself. Also it takes a lot of learning and it is really cool to directly apply things you learned out of interest. I don't love everything about my job. I would still rather devote those hours to hanging out with friends or playing video games or something. But I'm a freelancer writing in a niche field, so I can ask a pretty high hourly rate for my work. I don't need to work 40 hours a week, sometimes closer to 20, I get to define exactly what those hours are, and I work from home, or wherever I feel like bringing my laptop. Plus, my current company treats me well in other ways, annual trips, cash bonuses, little gifts like bottles of wine and gift cards, and plenty of verbal reinforcement of my value. And the people themselves are pretty cool. When I actually have to sit down at my laptop, I still roll my eyes, but I can also take a break to watch TV whenever I want, so it could be way worse. I'm a guitar maker. I spend all day toiling in my workshop attempting to make more responsive and more beautiful classical guitars than the last. I get to meet interesting people through commissions and by getting to know other colleagues. I've spent a significant amount of time studying in Spain to perfect my craft affording me both professional and personal experiences that have shaped my work and given me great stories to tell at the bar. I never have to deal with crappy bosses, wake up when I want to, work when I want to, take off when I want to, and have the ability to travel to my old teacher shop on the Mediterranean for a working holiday should I tire of my current surroundings. It's a difficult skill to gain proficiency in and you really need to live and breathe the work to make any sort of money. I'll never get rich but that's not all that important to me, but I can't imagine doing anything else. I own and run a farm. We do a lot of gourmet mushrooms, garlic, specialty fruits, etc. I have always loved to cook. Cooking with fresh local ingredients is awesome. Basing your life around producing those ingredients, cooking with them, and sharing with your community is amazing. I would never have a normal job again. It really is true that with some persistence and a bit of luck you can find a job that doesn't feel like work. Every other Friday off, company vehicle, good team to work with, get off when I want, not stressful, get paid well. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to subscribe to Upvote for the best quality content every day.